In this video, I'm going to walk you through how I would build a soundscape for a sequence in Premiere Pro from sourcing the sound effects to the editing techniques I use to give the scene another dimension. This video is a deeper dive into the how of some of the concepts I talked about in last week's tutorial on how to create more engaging videos by using sound effects. If you missed it, I've pinned a comment below with the link. Now, let's jump into Premiere Pro. So here's a quick sequence I put together of a woman walking through this busy city. Let's jump over to Storyblocks Audio and find some sound effects to suit these shots and start to build more of a story. Let's just start with typing city into the sound effects search box and see what comes up. When I look for sound effects, I normally download a few that I think will be good for the scene that I'm creating. And when I place them in the edit, I can see which ones I like the best. And that's going to be a starting point for our background sound effects. If we jump back into Premiere and have a quick look at the shots. So I've got an establishing shot that just shows the city. I've got the woman walking across the crossing. An aerial shot of the whole scene. A different shot of the woman, a taxi taking off, and finally we see her face in the final shot. So looking at all these individual shots, I want to find maybe a walking buzzer for this particular shot. This one is further away, so it's going to be more just an ambient background noise shot. This one is more of a close-up, so there might be more sounds of people around her or different traffic passing her by. We could even look for a sound effect of someone hailing a taxi. And then we're back to another close-up. So a lot of these differences are going to be quite subtle. And there's nothing wrong with using a single ambient background track like this one for the entire scene. But we're going to take it a step further just now and build a whole world around this 17 second sequence. So to start with, I will just drop this background ambience into the track and just have a listen to what it sounds like. So that section there is pretty hectic with the building of the siren, which if that's what you're going for, then that's great. But I think I'm going to look for a slightly less dramatic section of this sound effect. All right, and I might use something like this instead. All right, so there's some traffic beeping in there. There's just the rumbling of engines. There's all the usual things that you would hear in the city. Not so much siren. We might bring that in a little later in a different layer though. So I'm going to just cut that sound effect there. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just drop that noise down so it is more of a background sound. So I'm gonna press G to bring up the audio gain setting in Premiere, and I'm going to set that as a starting point as negative 18. And we can always adjust as needed. So we've got our ambient background track. Let's have another listen to this one. <laughs> 
So this one has more people talking and interacting on the street. So we could use this for one of these more close up shots of the woman walking. Now, because we don't actually see other people in the shot with her, I wouldn't make this sound effect particularly loud. And this is something I'd really like to emphasize about building your soundscapes is always pay attention to what can the viewer actually see. If there is a visual, give them an audible element to back it up. But if they can't see it, you can still suggest that it's there using sound effects, but don't let it overpower the scene. So I'm going to use this section here where people are talking. I'm going to drop it down in this part of the video. But first, I'm going to adjust our ambient soundtrack to reflect where we, as the audience, have a viewpoint for each shot. I'll show you what I mean. So I'm actually going to cut the track at the start of every new clip. You can adjust this by using the keyframes, but I find that a little bit fiddly sometimes. So I'm going to cut them so I can adjust every single one separately. And then if I retime this sequence later on, I won't have to go and move the keyframes along. I can just lengthen or extend the sound effect as I adjust the length of the clip. So for this first shot, we're looking up, we're slightly removed from the ground and the point of view of the girl as we are in this shot. So I'm going to slightly bring this level down. I'll leave it up for this shot where we're clearly on the ground with her. This is an aerial shot, so we are quite removed from the scene. So I'm going to bring this down even further. Again, we go back for a bit of a close up, close up, close up. So these can probably stay the same and then we'll add extra sound effects to these as we go along. So let's just have a little bit of a listen to that. All right, there is a beep. At the very end of that, I don't like where that is placed. So I can just go in, I'm going to press Y on my keyboard and I'm just going to drag the clip back. So you can see this beep. It now happens in this section here. And then I'm going to drag this one along too, so the end of the beep doesn't come in at that cut point. We could raise this up ever so slightly. Probably just to there. And another thing you can do is add a default transition between each of these just for a more subtle change in audio volume. So now we've got our ambient track down. I'm going to take this clip here and I'm going to just press G again, bring that down and just see what that sounds like. Put some transitions on there. And perhaps we will bring in another little sound bite for this clip too. All right, so we're starting to build this scene. Now I'm going to go and look for a sound effect for this shot of someone hailing a taxi. Taxi! 
All right. Let's grab this one. And for good measure, let's grab this too. Now have a look at this shot. We're up in the sky, removed from the road noise. Maybe there are some birds up here. So let's go have a look for, let's just type city birds. Just see what happens. I like this one the best. It's nice and subtle. Also, just going to look for birds chirping. That one's nice. Let's get that too. So when you look for these sounds, they can be whatever you want. If you want your birds to be screeching loudly, you can have that. If you want them to be nice and subtle, like the one I just downloaded, you can have that too. So let's jump back into Premiere and see what one fits our scene. And you might want to put both down and see what one fits the scene the best. So I'll put them both down and then I will start by muting this one, seeing what that sounds like. And then I'll swap and see what that sounds like. You know, I like how the first one sounded. Just another subtle addition that helps us paint this scene. So what else happens in the city? The woman could be walking through the street and a group of people might be laughing or talking loudly as they pass her. So let's have a look for something like that. Either of those two options are good. This one sounds like the group are actually coming past her and getting further away as the sound effect, as the sound effect teeters out like that. So I might put this sound effect down here. down a bit. Still a bit loud. And I'll just contain it within this shot. Now to open the scene, 
I might put in a little bit of a siren. Just very subtle. Now if we wanted to, we could do the same thing that we've done with the ambient shot. Extend the siren, but enhance or drop the volume to signify that change in perspective of the viewer. Finally, what if someone is passing the woman and their phone is ringing? The sound is going to start close and then get further away. So let's go look for the sound of a phone ringing. So we've got this sound effect. Let's start with it loud. And then this person is walking further away from the woman, so I'm going to bring it down and see what that sounds like. Extremely loud. Starting to get there. Going to bring it down again. Bring it over a little bit. And there we go. Let's have a look at the sequence in full without any sound and then with the soundscape that we've just built. When you're designing your soundscape, designing your world, you can add in whatever you like. If you want a plane to come over, you can add a plane coming over. If you want more sirens and more traffic sound, you can have that. If you want it to sound more tranquil and peaceful and more full of birds chirping, then build your soundscape that way. Audio has so much power to make people feel a certain way. So first decide what you want the viewer to feel when they're watching your sequence, and then think about the kind of sound effects that you would usually see in the environment where your shots are located, and then which of those sounds will enhance the feeling you're looking for. I hope you have some new ideas to take into your own video projects. If you have any questions about editing, Premiere Pro, sound design, or really anything in the video space, please leave a comment below so I can answer them for you, or I may even make a video about it. Check out this video for more Premiere tips, or this tutorial for finding the right music for your videos. See you there.